Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a quick little tutorial and these little, look how cute, book charms are 1000% inspired by Tamil, who is Paper Milkshake here on YouTube. And she made cute little like um, chipboard style ones where you like how you would cover a chipboard album. I can't even do a big size one of those, let alone a little one. But I don't have chipboard and I wanted to do like a smaller version of what she did. So I will do a tutorial with the measurements I did. And it's literally, you just use 110 pound cardstock and then your decorative pieces of paper. And I'm using the new Maggie Holmes Sweet Story collection. So cute. Um, just the scraps that I have. So what you'll need is either scissors or cutting board or just scissors, you know, paper and pencil and scissors. So for these cute little book charms that could be little like dangle pieces, they're so itty bitty. They're seventh of an eighth inch by one inch. They're so cute. And now that I'm looking at this, I think I might want to stick a puffy square in between like so that it doesn't fly open but it would be cute to put a note in here or even you know I don't know something else let's see so if you put a square no I would have to do that a bunch of times maybe I'll leave it blank or maybe I won't like this should I leave it closed can you tell that that's a book like that I don't know I'll leave it off and then whoever I give them to can put a piece of foam tape in between. So I'll leave it off for now. For these itty bitty little books, you are going to need a tiny little piece of paper that is two inches long by one inches wide. Two inches by one inches, super tiny. Get your little um, two by one. So get your, on the two inch side, you're going to score at seven eighths of an inch and then one and one eighths of an inch. That's your little binding. You can see the two score lines. You're just going to fold and crease, fold and crease, and literally you already have your tiny little book. And it stays a lot better than 60 pound or 80 pound weight paper. So definitely use 110 when you're creating these little books. For the layering pieces for the little books, the little strip that goes on the top of this needs to be one inch by one eighth of an inch. Um, it actually ends up measuring a little bit smaller than that, so you'll just trim it with your scissors because there is no um, score mark between those two measurements. Cut one inch and then seven eighths of an inch. And um, my little, this cutter does not go well with that, so I'm just doing a score line and then cutting with scissors. So see how it's like exactly the same size? You just want to trim it down so there's a little bit of your background paper kind of showing, or at least I like it that way. Okay, so I have that one, and then I'm going to make another one. Okay, so these two little pieces, these little squares, you guys can either sew them, like what I did to my other two, as you can see. I sewed both sides before I added my little dangle, so I'm gonna do that real quick. So now I have my two little uh, squares sewed. I'm going to use my uh, Barely Art Sweat glue and I'm gonna put it on the actual base of the card versus the little pieces because I want the thread to be glued down really good. So I'm kind of being really generous with the glue. Just kind of push it on there for a second. Do the other side real quick. And then I'm gonna hold it down. Um, the thread on the back isn't letting the paper lay down as flat. So I like to just turn it over and then hold it for like 10 seconds so that the glue can grip the fibers of the thread with the paper and hold, you know, all of it down. Here this one is. Now I'm going to use my We Are Memory Keepers Crapodile. It has this size hole punch. See it coming out? It's about like a normal hole punch size. And then it has this skinny version over here like a smaller hole. So I'm gonna punch that right on the top of the binding, like so. I don't have any eyelets with me, so I'm just gonna have to leave it like that. I'm going to use a smaller jump ring for this because I don't want it too big and bulky. And I'm gonna use these little lobster clasps. And then I was uh, wire wrapping some of my new beads. If you guys saw my bee haul, Bee hole, bead haul 
I have a couple little seed beads and then the new four millimeter beads. Open these up. Okay, so right there, and then I put on the little wrapped wire bead charm that V has a tutorial for. I will leave that in the description box down below and I will add the little class. Okay, so there is a tiny little book. Look how cute. See, I don't know if I like it that it flings open like that. So if you put a big thick foam piece in between, it would kind of keep it. I don't know. Should I do that? I'm just gonna fold it, crease it back and forth on the score lines. Kind of get it to close a little bit. So how cute are these little charms? Thank you so much to Neil for the inspiration and little tutorial. I made these itty bitty ones. So, so cute. Hers look more like well put together because she actually used um, chipboard and then wrapped the paper around the edges of this. So if you want a more finished look, as she definitely has, it, I'll link her tutorial down below. But yeah, I will catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye guys.